president. Don't the voice. Look down ahead and look. Yeah, I don't have my jacket on. Like, my political thing, I don't have my jacket. Yeah, it's yeah. even my US flag. Right. Don't that. <sighs> I've seen my tombstone. And the date etched on that stone is before we met. And you say I saved you. And you say I was what you needed. I know you cannot answer. But where is what I needed back when that date was etched into that tombstone? And what? Now I am here, unable to be everything for you. I am your savior now. I had no one to save me on that fateful day, etched in stone. How can I save you when I don't know how to save myself? Was it music? Was it science that saved me? Because it brings me to tears to know that I am here. What? Because of science. Science is what I rely on, and thanks to science, I am left here with this hole with this tombstone, and with this hall. Yeah, you've made me feel less alone, and this hole would consume the universe if you were not here. But like a black hole, this void is never satiated. It keeps wanting more, it keeps swallowing everything around it, it keeps sucking everything in until nothing can escape. I know, I know, galaxies thrive with a black hole at their core, so is this how I'm supposed to survive and thrive now? Maybe I should know that everything now is just icing on the cake, because I lived through that date. And I saw that date etched on that tombstone because I died so long ago. So I just have to remember, all this joy, and more importantly, all this pain, this is all just icing on the cake. Oh, Happier. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be the creative one, but I started my schooling in engineering. I say I'm a writer, I say I'm an artist, but I haven't known what to say to you. But I want you to understand that if I were a painter, I'd be Michelangelo. <laughs> I'd paint my love for you like it was a Sistine Chapel, our hands touching in the sky, like it was our last supper. What am I saying? I'm painting like Michelangelo. I'd probably paint like Jackson Pollock. Oh, God, like oh, 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 so, so maybe I'm not a writer. Maybe I'm not an artist. Maybe I'm an observer, like an astronomer, looking out in the universe, learning what makes everything, everything. Because molecule by molecule, we originate from stardust. But outer space is a violent place. Violent explosions create stars. Our Earth has earthquakes, avalanches, volcanoes, tsunamis, typhoons. And in all that madness, somehow I found you. And the journalist in me observed you. I came to you asking you questions, and I broke your heart in shell. And with you, I've walked on the tops of glaciers, crouching down from the violent winds. With you, I've watched the solar storms from the Arctic circles of Aurora Borealis. We've even seen it dance over Greenland from our window, 40,000 feet in the sky. I've held your hand on the Great Wall of China. You followed me retracing Darwin's steps. You steered me clear of a rattlesnake bed. You showed me how to reload gun magazines and how to hold an AR-15. Because I've seen galaxies collide. I've seen comets smash into planets. I've seen supernova and the death of stars. And in all of that, I've still followed you. As I said before, I'm only an observer. But I've found what I've been looking for. And with these observations, I be wet. Oh. And I'll tighten my grip on your hand, because I will never let you go. Yeah.